guys, my name is Alexandra and this is my first YouTube video. Um, I'm basically just going to do a little get ready with me slash little vlog type of thing. I don't know if I'll vlog much because I am going to work. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go right into it because I never know how to start this off. I overthink it too much because I just don't know what to say but I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows if I can I know I was gonna forget something anyways um so to be honest I never even get ready for work I mean like I'll get ready sometimes but it's like pretty occasionally Excuse, excuse that fucker right there. Um, but yeah, I usually don't get ready for work. It's just like a sometimes type of thing. But for the sake of the video, I was like, I'll just get like a little ready. It's just like, I guess you could call it like an everyday makeup routine because it's not like, at least to me, in my opinion, and the way that I like to wear makeup. Um, this is like a simple everyday So I'm not gonna fill in my eyebrows. I'm just gonna conceal them because I mean my eyebrows are somewhat dark and I mean I have like somewhat like thick haired eyebrows so I'll just Conceal all under my brow and then if I have any sparseness anywhere, then I'll just take my pencil and I'll fill in where I need to but I don't really like go in and fill in the whole eyebrow because I like to have that like that, like basically natural looking brow as if I didn't do anything to them if that makes sense so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I just outline the under underneath the eyebrow I don't conceal on top of the brow just underneath and by the way I'm using where to go I'm using this little tart shape tape concealer in the shade shade light medium and I'm just using a, a elf concealer brush it doesn't have any numbers it's just an elf concealer brush and I'm gonna take this little I don't even know what the brush is supposed to be for, but I use it for, I'm guessing it's to blend out your concealer. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, this brush came like in a set that you get from like the Callejones. So, I don't really know what to tell y'all. Yeah, it's like just a concealer brush from Bella Pro, like the words are already like coming off. So, I don't know if you can see the difference, but this is my brow without and with the concealer so to me that's already like a pretty big difference in my eyebrow and i like the way that it just it's like if you just got your eyebrows like waxed and it gives them more shape so that's why i like to do that and now i'm just gonna go ahead and do the other brow so i did my other brow and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just go over it a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my the professional. Oh my god, I like forgot the name for a second. And I'm just gonna put a little bit because I do feel like I have like pretty big pores. And on, I had never even tried this primer until it got sent to me in a boxy charm. I feel like sometimes I'm stingy with makeup, but sometimes I will buy it if I like really want it. But if I can find something that's cheaper, I'm gonna go for the cheaper one. Um, but yeah, I just put on my primer and 
Now I'm going to take my foundation and I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is the matte one and I'm in the color 128 right now. So I'm just going to apply that everywhere. Honestly, quarantine made me do it. I feel like I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel, but I never really... I'm not gonna lie and said I never had time because I'm pretty sure I had time at some point. But I guess in some way I felt like I couldn't do it. But to be honest, you know what? With this quarantine, I was like you know what i don't care i'm gonna just go for it and see where it goes like i'm just gonna do it for fun because i'm pretty sure i'll like it um i did do i did a video last time but the audio wasn't good and to be honest i didn't like how it came out how it turned out so I didn't post it. I edited it and everything, but I didn't post it. So hopefully this one goes great. <laughs> um, now I'm just going to take some concealer and I'm using the same concealer that I used for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to apply concealer, I guess, everywhere in the T-zone. And I'm also going to apply some extra concealer, like... And these little pimples that I've been getting, I feel like they're not, I don't even know what they are. Because they're pretty tiny, like, you can't pop them. So, I don't know why. Maybe because, I mean, I don't feel like I've, it, I've been eating that bad. But, whatever. So, yeah, I just have those going on, on my forehead. Oops, I forgot to blend out my neck. blend blend because I do not want to be looking crazy I think one time I think one time I forgot like because I usually dot foundation down here too to make sure I blend it down my neck and I think one time I forgot to blend it out so I always make sure to blend that shit out now I'm gonna take my air spun I'm just gonna apply some air spun under my eyes I'm also going to apply it like on the sides of my nose because I get pretty greasy. So, and I'm going to already wipe this off because I don't like to leave it on for too long. Because then I feel like it looks too white, like my face, it makes my face look too white. So I literally just use it to set it and then remove it really quickly. And this is another e.l.f. brush. Um, I don't know what, the, I think this is for highlighting, but I like using it, like, to wipe off under my eye. So, yeah, this is just a little elf brush. And I'm also going to set on my forehead because I get really greasy as well. Wipe that off. 
and I don't like to apply I literally just set my like my nose a little bit because then it cracks and I'm still trying to figure out what to do about that because sometimes my foundation comes out um, pretty good and sometimes it don't <laughs> Oh, you know what else? So I'm just gonna set with the same air sponge. And I'm just using this is a brush that I that came in another brush set and I actually got it from Ross and I did end up really liking um, those three brushes and this is one of them it's just like a thick domey brush and I just really like to use it to set my eyes once I'm done with that I'm gonna take my hula bronzer angle brush and this brush actually also came with this one in the set from the callejones so i feel like i have a mix of like branded makeup and also like non like non-brand not expensive makeup um so i feel like as long as you make it work like anything you use is good in my opinion so i'm just gonna apply bronzer with that and honestly most of my brushes are most of them are like cheap brushes um i have a couple that are somewhat branded but most of them are cheap so i just feel like as long as you make it work like it should be good although sometimes some brushes are kind of whack so I understand but I make it work with these and I feel like my bronzer is not blending out properly Now I'm just going to take this um, fluffy brush and it's from Eco Tools and I'm just going to blend the bronzer that I just applied. I'm going to blend that out because I don't want to be looking crazy at work. And also I have, I'm obviously going to have a face mask on so that's why I'm saying like I don't see any point of getting ready for work. But I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. So other side. I feel like it's like right here where it's not blending out properly. I don't know why. But whatever. I'm just going to work with it. kind of rushing a little bit because I need to be ready by 9 it's currently 8 48 so I basically just go back and forth until I like the way it looks usually it looks fine the first time but I don't know why this is happening and of course it would happen when I'm trying to do a video. Okay, well that's as good as it's going to get. Um, I was going to put blush on, but to be honest, since this is already looking kind of crazy, um, I'm not going to put any blush on. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And plus, you can't see my makeup, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, now I'm just going to do mascara. Um, I'm just going to curl my lashes and then I, this is my favorite mascara. Um, this is the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline. 
pretty sure if y'all go and buy it you could just tell by the packaging the way it looks like so i'm just gonna do my mascara <laughs> To remove any mascara that gets like on my lid, I just take the a uh, spoolie. The a uh, spoolie. <laughs> I just take a spoolie and I just take it off. This is a waterproof mascara, so uh, it's kind of smudgy. But we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. Since it's smudged a little bit, I'm just gonna take my computer brush and kind of pat over it. Or rub until you can't really see it anymore. Um, I'm also gonna use another mascara. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator mascara, and first I go in with the Maybelline one, and now I go in with this one. I really like my eyelashes to all be separated so I feel like I take my time with my mascara and I love them for them to be like super dark um, not clumpy but just I put a lot of mascara on sometimes and this eyelash curler is really good um, if I can get my eyelashes back um, I bought it at Target, but it works really, really good. Like, it even be ripping on my eyelashes sometimes from how good it curls. Or maybe I just curl too hard, honestly. So, let's do the same to the other eye. Supposedly, they're opening, well, at least here in Texas. I'm from California. I'm from Oakland, California. Born and raised. But I moved, so yeah. But basically, here in Texas, um, they said that they were gonna be reopening, like restaurants, movie theaters, etc., etc. But only limiting it down to twenty five percent of the original capacity. But I'm gonna let y'all go out there first. I'm gonna let y'all go out there and test it out first before I go out. I'm gonna still quarantine my ass at home because. You never know. Um, I think I'm pretty much done. I don't really want to put any more because last time, I think I went a little bit overboard and literally my eyelashes were a mess. I didn't know what to do with them. And I feel like it's also because my eyelashes are like a little bit messed up because I had eyelash extensions couple months back and I literally ripped my eyelashes out because I tried to take them off by myself oh no I'm just playing around right now like with my eyelashes see where I want to put more mascara and if I want to put more that's pretty much gonna do it for the that's pretty much gonna do it for the mascara um I guess now I'll just take my it broke but it's the wet and wild concealer this is in the color golden flower crown um so i just like to take this and put it in my inner corners and i do like to wet the brush a little bit or you can spray it with some setting spray like first get the product and then spray it 
on the brush because I find that if you spray the brush first and then go into your product, it like kind of messes your product up. That's just what I've noticed. So just wet it with some water or acidic spray. And I like to do that because it makes the highlighter pop a little more. You guys probably can't see, but it looks brighter in person. So that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for what I do for my makeup. I don't do much, as you can see. This might be much to some y'all, but it's not much to me. Um, and to be honest, I didn't even need to go in with my eyebrows. Like, I didn't really feel like I needed to fill in everywhere. I kind of like where my eyebrows are right now and how they look. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All I do for the makeup. Um, just a simple, quick, easy makeup look. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go change. Okay, so I'm done changing. Um, I just have on like a regular white t-shirt with jeans and my work shoes. Um, so and I'm like trying to hurry up because I'm running late. So I'm just gonna get everything that I need, all my last minute things, and then I'm gonna go. I'm in my car now and I'm about to start driving to work and obviously I can't drive and record so I'm just gonna jam out and I'll probably record a little bit later. early so i usually just chill in the car until i have to go inside but i'll probably go inside soon and there's someone staring at me <laughs> um but yeah hopefully the days go the day goes by fast and also i was like looking back at the footage from earlier when i was doing makeup and stuff and i probably sound like a little bit awkward and stuff but i feel like it's just i'm not used to it so maybe like with time i'll probably get like more comfortable talking to myself i guess um but yeah this is just kind of my days when i work So usually when I'm not busy, I'll just like either be on my phone or I'll look for like a movie to watch or I'll take advantage of the time and eat because whenever I don't eat, it's slow. And then once I want to eat, everyone wants to call me, everyone, you know, so I'll probably just eat right now in a little bit. So right now I'm just going to eat some cheese enchiladas and watch some Netflix. So I just got home from work. Um, I just passed by the store real quick to buy my mom something that she needed. And I think we're gonna cook. We're gonna make tinga, so I'll probably show you guys. Um, you could probably hear the air. Um, yeah, we're gonna make tinga, so I'll probably show you guys that. No se va a escuchar lo que decimos.
freaking hard right now and there's like lightning and everything i'm getting kind of scared but anyways um that's pretty much it for my whole day i literally just did some homework and then i started watching netflix i'm watching that 70s show um that's probably all i'm gonna do for the rest of the night and hopefully we'll see what my next video is about